Okay, the next mobility exercise is going to try and mobilize our hip external rotation. So what that is, is this movement right here, same movement found in the bottom of the squat, enough to drive the knee outward. That's external rotation of the hip. That knee's going outward, same with that other knee. So we're gonna try and mobilize the restrictive muscles. And to do that, we're going to just put our foot down on the bench just like this. We're gonna put our hand to the side of our foot, push that knee, shove that knee out to the right side, and lean into it, keeping your chin up, chest up high, really just shoving that knee out there. Hold this position for about a minute, and then we're going to fold over on our ankle, just like this, which then allows us to shove that knee out even more. Again, hold your chest up, but think that your stomach, your belly button is coming towards your heel. You're then gonna play around with that position, hold that there, and then we're gonna to rotate to the far side where you're gonna think that your stomach, your belly button is pushing out towards your far knee. Hold that position there for another 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna just increase the amount of external rotation by folding our leg fully down on the bench like this. Make sure that this leg is directly behind you not off to the side. It's going to want to go there because it's going to feel more comfortable. But you're not mobilizing the, that movement as much. So make sure that it's nice and line. Make sure that that leg is at 90 degrees. You might feel some pain underneath the knee. You can kind of take care of that by moving up and pushing that knee down. It's just because that IT band is really tight pulling on the lateral side of your knee. And so that's why we got to work on this movement. So hold that position, make sure that you're stuck at 90 degrees, wind it up again, play around with where your belly button is pointing. Point it towards your heel for a little bit, and then point it towards your knee. And then you can kind of blend that by scouring that joint. What you're trying to do is scrape around there in the hip, you're trying to open the hip up. We're gonna work on this right side there. We've been at it for about two minutes or so, and then try it for another two minutes, playing around with those specific movements for the left side. 